Okay, I would like to highlight why this is this structure. It combines box beam and white flange. Both of them are thin wall analysis. When I'll do another one, is I combine thin wall and thick wall, okay? <laughs> and you guess what? No problem. You guys are able to do it. Trust me. Okay. Right. Let's look at another problem. Formula is very easy. VQ over IT. Shear flow is VQ over I. The difficulty is what? As you can see now, is the analysis. Okay, formula is easy. You need to know how to analyze. If you don't know how to analyze, yeah, we'll be in a bit of trouble. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Right. So if you look at this structure, okay, so this structure carries a vertical load, right? It has a vertical load coming down. The Q or the maximum. is 10 to 10 to about 3 psi okay so this is a head shape determine the correspondent shear uh, stress at point a and at point b okay so this is our this is our uh tau max okay so let's let's look at this problem first right so from here we are going to first thing okay first thing we do we're going to design the shear flow. Okay, we're going to design the shear flow. So copy and paste. Right. So we're going to have. I'm. I'm going to make this big. Okay. So you can see the arrow clearer. Okay, so we have a shear, uh, a force over here. Yeah, a force over here. So we are going to have a, a VY, okay, a VY over here. And then this will be split. So this is terminal. Okay, wrong color, Eugene. I'm going to use pink. So this is our uh, start. Terminal. Oh, I've just called terminal. Okay, I, I don't give you uh, start or end. Then you get confusing, All right? Then it goes. The Q goes here. So the longer the arrow means the higher the forces or the shear flow. Then over here, these are your terminal. Okay, and then based on geometry, by observation, exactly at the center, right? This is our centroid. Okay, so if we look at this problem now, okay, so we know formula to apply is shear is equal to or shear x y so if we right so you have b y or shear x y is equal to by over izz qz over t okay so that's the formula so we are given that tau max 
is equal to uh is equal to we are given that is equal to 10 times 10 to power 3 psi okay so if we if we comply to the rules okay we we comply if we obey the rules so based on rule number 1 right rule number 1 right at point a at point b and then at the centroid right for this case we know that the maximum okay can be at the centroid okay but we have to check i don't know okay we have to check we have to check okay so what we know over here that for all this case we know that vy over izz at point a is also equal to vy over izz at point b and this is also equal to vy over izz at the what centroid right rule number one that's why it's so important now okay it's go more deeper into shear flow stress okay or shearing stress these rules are so sensitive. If you make one mistake, game over. Okay, make one mistake, game over. Okay, so we know that. So, so what I'm trying to say is, at this point, don't jump into calculating IZZ. Oh, oh shit, uh, I need to calculate IZZ. I need to calculate IZZ, okay? Now, so that is where we apply rule number one. So the first thing we're going to do now, okay, is how to analyze this structure. Okay, so we are going to start from point B. Okay, so I'm going to copy this diagram and I'm going to paste. Okay, then I'm going to still draw our, our centroid. Okay, so this is our centroid. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a box okay i'm going to i'm going to launch another software uh, i need a, a a colored box i need to go into another software i'm still around okay don't don't panic i i'm now in uh uh powerpoint because powerpoint can draw color box Mat home. Hold on, okay. I do apologize for this. Ew. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Hopefully it works. Copy. Okay. So if I'm going to, if we are going to analyze point A, point B, sorry, point B. Okay. I I cover what is below. What you see now is that region. I, I, I cover it. Okay. I don't see it. Right. So if we're going to analyze, so we, I'm going to write first. We're going to analyze. Okay. We are going to find. Or oh, investigate point B. Investigate point B. Okay, you're going to investigate point B, right? So when we draw our shear flow, so if, we, if so, investigate point B means the bottom part you don't consider. Why the bottom part you don't consider is because of rule number one. So if we look at rule, so I'm going to copy. Okay, why I cover it, okay? Because what? Based on our analysis, rule number four says what? The first moment of area cannot cross or intersect the what? The centroid. That's why I cover it. Okay, I cover it. I don't look at it. So if I cover it, if we investigate a 
at, at, at point B, what sort of analysis? Anyone. So you look over here, okay? You have look over here. So over here, we have a terminal. You have one Q over here, the other Q over there, and then it comes down. And you stop there, okay? You, you cannot proceed any further. So what structure is that? Is that a box beam or white flange? Hello? Anyone home? So if you just look at the centroid, okay, and then you go over here, okay, right? So if I also just cover below, right? <coughs> All right, cover below. And then I go the other side. I cover, cover, cover below the centroid. Why I cover below the centroid? Because the first moment a rear cannot cross. So if you look at what I've just done, right, relative to the question, right, this is a what? So at point B, right, at point B, box beam, Analysis, right? Box beam analysis uh, have to be applied. Right? And I want you to take note, because of this terminal, you have how many Q over here? I want you to put comma, you get Q go to the left side, and then Q go to right, right side. I want you to write that. You have to consider two Q. Okay, you have to consider 2Q. And this 2Q, later on, we will use it. Okay, I'll, and I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why. Okay, so from here, at point B now, we have to consider what? So the area to consider now is this. Okay, the area to consider now is this area. Right, because of the terminal, you have to consider what is the left and what is the right. Because you have one terminal and the terminal split into what? Left and right. That's why we have to consider what? 2Q. Okay. So we have to find the Q at point B, the first moment of area at point B. Right. So wait, you guys will say, okay, Eugene, what's the formula we're going to apply? So we're going to look at shear XY at point B is equal to VY over IZZ. Right. More importantly, we have to calculate what is our QZ over T. Okay. Why we can, why, okay, we're going to leave VY over IZZ. Okay, we're going to leave this one. Why we leave this one is because regardless of the point of interest at A, B, or centroid, all these are what? Concern. We're just going to leave it alone first. We don't need to find your first moment of area. We don't need to find VY. Just leave it alone. Later on, when it evolves, you'll see why better. Okay? Right? So we, go so we have to find... Okay? We have to find this one. <clears throat> find the QZ over T ratio. Okay? Because the rest, regardless of whether is it point A point B or at the centroid, VY over IZZ is always going to be sent, uh, a concern, rule number one, okay? So we have to find QZ. Okay, so the, 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 the QZ is equal to 2 inch minus by twice 0 0.3, left and right, right? So because 2 inch is the entire length, so the 0.3, is the left and white, and then multiply this the width thickness is equal to 0 0.2, right? And then so this is your width, this is your depth, and then the, your y bar is equal to so the entire uh, thing is one three divided by two, so 1.5 minus by zero uh, by 0 0.2 divided by two, okay? 
So this is for your y bar. Okay. So this will be equal to 2 times <coughs> 2 times 0.3, 2 minus, so it's equal to 1.4 multiplied by 0 0.2. 